Coming up on Mountain News this morning, help could be on the way for child care centers across the country, giving owners here in Kentucky some hope after a rough a few months. And health care professionals stress the importance of keeping children up to date on their vaccines, even during this pandemic. Plus, we talk with Appalachian Regional Health Care officials about some troubling rumors, rumors posted on Facebook to separate the fact from the fiction. Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News This Morning. Good morning, I'm Lacey Roberts, and thank you for joining us on Mountain News this morning. Today is a Friday. That's right, we've made it to the end of the week, July 31st. Well, let's go ahead and start this morning off by bringing in Brandon Robinson and have a check of our forecast. Brandon, I know yesterday we've been looking at some rain and some cold fronts coming through. I know we've been talking about it all week long, um, but can we expect that rain today? Mm -hmm. Yes, we can, and we actually got uh, something new for you, brand new this morning, just happened about 15 or 20 minutes ago. The flash flood watch is now expanded to go through 8 o'clock Saturday morning. It was supposed to end at 8 o'clock this morning, and it was expanded to include more of our western county. So we're going to continue to track that today and in the next 24 hours. So again, a soggy forecast potentially on the way for today. So stay weather aware. Make sure you have that WIMT weather app, Penny. That's where I got that alert at, that that had been extended. Some rain still moving across the area this morning on line pinpoint Doppler radar uh, some gully washing storms there in the overnight it was very uh, active there for a little while but things are now starting to calm down just a little bit so again just uh, stay weather where you may run up on some high water issues once you hit the roads this morning and some fog as well temperatures in the 70s area wide but look at Middlesbrough 78 degrees this morning everybody else there in the low to mid 70s at least at this point your app forecast is going to be a handy tool to have not only to track the rain but to get those alerts of heavy rain and lightning and any warnings that are issued we've already had a couple of flash flood warnings. The forecast today, back and forth rain. I do think we get a break early this morning. Maybe even some peaks of sunshine try to filter through, but mostly cloudy skies and the rain chances continue as we head through your Friday. I'll have the rest of that forecast coming up here in just a little bit. Lacey. Brandon, Governor Andy Bashir believes that Kentucky's mask mandate order is starting to pay off. He says our increase in cases is not going up as rapidly as it once was. The state reported 659 new cases last night and 29,386 cases have been reported since the start of the pandemic. We also learned about the deaths of seven more Kentuckians, raising the death toll to 731. But our positivity rate has dropped to 5.6%. And help could be on the way for child care centers across the country. The U.S. House has passed a $660 billion bill bailout for daycares. The Senate would still need to approve the legislation, but it's giving business owners here in Kentucky some hope after a rough spring. Spring is my huge season. So when you take away that good season, not only are we looking at trouble trying to get through your lower seasons, you're definitely taking away your ability to make improvements. Right now, Kentucky daycares can operate with strict social distancing and sanitization requirements in place. And during this pandemic, many changes surrounding visits to the doctor are keeping parents away from their child's normal checkups, putting them behind schedule for important immunizations. Doctors and pediatricians say it is time to get back on track. Dr. Marjorie Haas, a pediatrician with the ARH Hazard Clinic, says with numbers so low in the school year on the horizon, getting these immunizations is on the top of her to-do list. But the kids that I want to see and the kids that I don't want to miss are the kids who are due for vaccines. And I want even the little ones, you know, the two month, four month, six month old, I do not want them to get behind on their shots because that's the kid who's going to get sick. In the state of Kentucky, child immunizations are required as part of the education process. So whether you plan on sending your student back to school or not, Haas says to go ahead and make those appointments. And the coronavirus pandemic is changing the way students are attending class this fall, whether that means delaying in-person classes, having all virtual classes, or a combination. Each district has different plans. If you head over to our website, wymt.com, we have compiled a list of schools in our coverage area and what their plans are as of now for this upcoming school year. Starting today, ARH hospitals are once again putting tighter restrictions on visitors 
Officials say it's because of the steady number of new cases. The new restrictions are similar to old guidelines from earlier in the pandemic. Two visitors are allowed for end-of-life situations. One responsible adult is allowed to accompany pediatric patients, and one designated support person may be with a maternity patient. And Appalachian Regional Health Care officials are addressing some rumors posted on Facebook. Posts say that ARH does not have ventilators available, all ICU beds are full, and 80 employees are in quarantine. Officials with ARH say some of its ICUs are reaching capacity, but that the 13 hospital system has a plan in place to expand coverage across the system and is not in jeopardy of having no access to ICU rooms. And that 80 employees across the system, across the system were potentially exposed to COVID-19 or have confirmed cases of the virus. However, they urge everyone to ignore Facebook rumors and say they will continue to be transparent on their website and also on their Facebook page. Well, thank you for getting your day started with us here on Mountain News this morning. Coming up, despite having less than 20 confirmed cases of COVID-19, the virus is leading to some extra disruptions in McGoffin County. And our severe weather alert day coverage continues on this Friday. Is this the system here continues to plague us there. We'll talk more about it coming up in about three minutes.